What's good, YouTube family? We back with another video. It's your boy, Kieran Davis, founder, owner, CEO of Contagious Co. We're trying to make self-love contagious from mental health awareness, suicide prevention. This is why we donate 10% of our profits to mental health organizations, because right now, suicide is the 10th leading cause of death for all Americans and fit for minorities. So we're trying our best to combat that and raise awareness. I'm gonna let you guys know how I was able to make 14K last month for my brand. Yeah, guys, look, um, February, mid-February, I quit my job. I put my two weeks notice in, but then realized, you know what? We're not going back, so while we're trying to keep that bridge built, let's go ahead and burn the bridge, right? And um, March 1st, I opened my kiosk here in the mall and was able to make 14 k that morning, right? I am mentoring right now by Ward of Vision, Marlon Watts, Nicholas Clark, uh, who have an inner circle. And I joined that inner circle uh, with fear and um, move forward with that fear, you feel me? And uh, a lot of people, we get a lot of information, a lot of game here on YouTube, but a lot of y'all, man, when you pay for that coaching, when you pay to sit under that magnifying glass, you you put yourself in the best position to really grow, you know what I mean? Uh, so just take that leap for anybody who has the opportunity to get coaching or learn from somebody else, man. Take that leap, trust the process. Even like this, a lot of stuff that we're doing, people are afraid to do. So you look really brave, but I do a lot of stuff with fear, you feel me? I do it with fear. I take that fear and I just move with it. And um, I love surprising myself on what I can actually do. And that's the first lesson, man. Remain a student. I don't care how big you get. I don't care how successful you get. Remain a student. So always somebody more successful than you. And there might be somebody who's not as successful than you who you can still learn from. So remain tapped in. And um, a lot of y'all probably want free information all the time, but sometimes you got to pay for that game. You know, you can get a lot of information for free. But when you pay for it, now it's special. It's personalized information. It's not general no more. It's specific to you and your situation. And that's what you want. So find good mentors and learn from them, study them, and watch how watch how fast you grow, you know, because you're also paying to minimize mistakes as well. Number two, uh, with that, I also had to get a lot of literature. Uh, you know what I mean? So we're gonna say that, but that's also going into that thing. Read books, make sure y'all read them books as well because don't lean on your own understanding. You don't know everything. You might be an expert at one thing, but for many other things, you're a fool. And that's just respectfully, you know? Two, have a bigger message. All right, that's the next thing too. Uh, make sure you have a, a why. Why are you doing this? What do you want to accumulate wealth for? What is this reason? Because if it's nothing bigger than you, how are you going to overcome trials and tribulations? And also, how pe why do people care about your success anyway? People are, it's, it's an exchange of energy, man. and that energy can be exchanged within dollars. But why are, why are they going to exchange that to you? What are you offering? Them, you know? And uh, But I'll get super deep about that. Why are you doing what you do? Again, uh, my brand is Contagious, and we're trying to make self-love contagious from mental health awareness, suicide prevention. Many of you guys don't know, I grew up homeless. I was homeless a lot of middle school, high school, and things like that with a lot of different things, uh, which later on through personal development, I ended up going to therapy. I found out I have a severe anxiety disorder, suffering with mild depression, and um, that brought me awareness of myself. And I realized that I wasn't crazy. And, um, you know, and they say, I think like one in every five adults suffers from some sort of mental illness. And, uh, you know, now you have more, you're more aware of what you're dealing with. So now you know how to overcome it. And uh, it's one thing that uh, Nicholas Clark said, Word of Vision, uh, you'd rather be, um, you'd rather be mindful of and knowledgeable to why you're failing and ignorant to why you're succeeding. If you know why you're failing, you can correct it. If you don't know why you're succeeding, you can never go duplicate it. You can never go teach anybody because you don't know. And um, that's, the, that's the difference, you know? So we're really trying to tap into that. So uh, a mission. So not only do we donate 10% of our profits, but we also host events. We just had our first self-love club support group. It was free for everybody. Uh, we had snacks, we had drinks and things like that. And we, and we also had a, a therapist there as well to help moderate. And um, just giving people, so a lot of people aren't taking initiative to go to therapy, but we're creating an environment where you can have open dialogue and also have your first uh, your first encounter with therapy. So that might be something that kind of pushes you forward that as well. So this is way bigger than me. It's not about making a profit. However, I'm very passionate about entrepreneurship. I'm very passionate about uh, personal development and I'm very passionate about mental health. So um, it just kind of comes together for me. 
Um, so that's number two. What is your why? And lead with your why. Yeah, people might like my designs. People are buying my message, but they get to leave away with something dope. You know what I mean? So that's the difference, man. So what is your why? But number three, hustle. Like I said, man, you can get all this information, but the hustle is sold separately. You know, uh, hustle not even sold at all. You gotta be in you, you gotta activate it yourself. You can get motivation and all things like that, but the hustle, you gotta be able to do that, man. You gotta be able to get yourself up in the morning. Uh, you know, travel where you gotta go to, you know what I mean? Like I said, I had to get 3,000 no's. I had to talk to 3,000 people to get 350 yeses to hit 14K, you feel me? And that's the difference, you feel me? Like all that, whatever insecurity you got, or whatever it is about yourself, throw that out the window. Because if you're trying to really go up in life, you have to carry all that shit with you, you know? And that's the thing. Like like I said, like I have a severe anxiety which anxiety disorder I suffer with my own depression but I don't let that stand in my way I'm still going to fall I'm still going to eat I'm still going to hustle I'm still going to grind regardless you feel me that's what it comes down to so hustle hustle you gotta be able to hustle that's something that we can't equate I can't tell you I can't tell you how the hustle is going to go for you but, but somebody can give you the play but they think you know that's designed for a touchdown or that's designed for a open three but if you're gonna get if you're gonna get that open three or you get that touchdown, it has to it's you. That's the variable in the whole equation. You know? It's not the information. It's not, you know, it might not be your your message. It might just be you. That's the other variable. Are you willing to put in the time to succeed? All right, last one I'm gonna leave y'all with. Both, like I said, man, um, delegate, elevate, build a team, all that. Like I said. I probably wouldn't have made 14K. Matter of fact, I would have not made 14K had I hired people. You know what I mean? Because they're not gonna push it like me and not like me. It's my strength. And then if I'm if somebody's doing this for me, what am I gonna be doing? You know what I mean? If somebody doing this for me right now, what am I gonna be doing if this is my strength? And I'm not, you know what I mean? Like what else I'm gonna go do at a high level? Like I said, I saw my house might edit this video because they're gonna be way better at editing than me. They're gonna do it faster, it's gonna come out better quality, all of that. You know, not, not if I do it. It's gonna be quick, it's gonna be simple. It ain't gonna be that engaging. So hopefully we all watching this back together and this video is fire because I found a dope editor.